way taller than Darchinian, but he has the reach by three and a half inches. And at yesterday's weigh-in, Darchinian 112, Donair just under. Introducing Nonito Donair. He is undefeated in his campaign to the ring with 28 wins, no losses, 22 wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight he is making the seventh defense of his title. Here is the undefeated IBF and IBO flyweight champion of the world known as the Raging Bull. Introducing Vic Darchinian. That'll be under the midway point of round five. There's the jab by Nonito Donaire at working well. Oh my! Look out! Darchinian down for the first time! Yes. Struggling to get to his feet! In terrible shape! It's all over! It's all over! Nonito Donaire has pulled it up! The monstrous upset in emphatic fashion! Nonito Donair avenging his brother's loss in dramatic fashion. Several rounds earlier, Donair had started to land the counter left hand, and here it would come in dramatic fashion. Again, lunging in, Darchinian, as he has not concerned about defense. You have to admire the courage of Darchinian and the will. As hurt as he was, trying desperately to get up and continue. And clearly we know he was hurt. And uh, you see there, just not doing well. And from above, we get a chance to see how well that left hook landed. It was just a perfect counter left hook by Nonita Donaire. And, you know, we talked about how the left hook had been successful early in the fight and really was the surprise weapon tonight. We would have expected the right hand to be more of a weapon for Donaire, and it put an end to Victor Chinian's invincibility, that's for sure, and of course his undefeated streak. And as he lunges in, you'll see the right hand very low for Darchinian, keeps it very low, walks into a left hook, and that unalterably changed this fight and ended it. Now, Nito Donaire coming down from super flyweight to meet Victor Chinian. And our Chinian, thank goodness, is okay. No, no, no. no. Hey, it happens to everyone, doesn't matter. Now, come on, Guys, let, me, let me take him for a walk. Let me walk him around. Let's get the official word from our ring announcer, Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of 38 seconds in round number five. A referee in charge, Eddie Claudio, stops the contest. The winner by way of technical knockout and the new IBF and IBO flyweight champion of the world, the Filipino Flash, Nonito. Upset. Nonito Donaire defends his family's honor. Very much the entire family is up here. The Donaires are celebrating Nonito. How did you manage to pull this off? Well, like I told Showtime before, but first of all, I want to thank God for everything. My parents, my mom, I love them. My dad, uh, Gary Shaw, for giving me this opportunity to Showtime. I love you guys and my manager, Cameron. They made it happen. And to all the Filipinos out there who never believed in me, but I did it, and I proved you guys wrong. But I know that you're going to support me because I proved to the world that I'm something now. And I would like to thank everybody. Mabuhay ang Pilipinas. With everybody, as you say, not believing this could happen, how did you manage to pull this off? Well, like I told Showtime earlier, I told him uh, yesterday, actually, that one punch can make a difference for me and him. And, and I told him, you know, I have power. I fought, I fought guys um, way heavier than him. You know, when I came in there, I was surprised he was so small. You know, I'm so used to be, uh, having bigger guys, and I, I could tell from his power that he has a lot of power. He was a tough guy to fight, but um, like I said, he made himself so open, and, and that's what one thing that I did was once he's open, I just took my time to, to t time him with my biggest shot, and I did that. Before we look at the knockout, how much did your brother help you? Glenn in your preparation based on his loss well, to Vic? He gave me a lot of confidence. That's one thing. Vic, he, he hits pretty hard. He has a, you know, not too hard as I thought it would be, but um, but he has a heavy hand. But my brother told me that he's not as tough as you, people think he is. And 
and that gave me a lot of my strongest punch. And that was it. I mean, I, I got to give it to him. You know, I'm not the type of person. I mean, I respect him a lot. I know he was talking a lot of crap. And, um, you know, it just, I hope, I hope next time he talks, he talks that, you know, well, he distracted me, sorry. Um, I, I, you know, I forgot what I was going to say. I'm just too excited. I'm sorry. That's okay. You're distracted. Here's your reaction here right oh, now. Yeah. Do you feel as though that he was looking past you and didn't give you the proper respect? Um, from the way he came in the fight, I don't think he was looking past me because he wanted to knock me out. Like I said, I respected him. He had a lot of power. He was a difficult fighter to, uh, to fight. But one thing, one thing that really got me was, 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 uh, was that, you know, it was hurting, you know, and 